It's our Christmas edition of Austin Weekend. Uh, otherwise, you know, we were stupid wearing his hats if it wasn't Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is our Christmas edition. We're going to do a little... Uh, we wish you had... We hope you had a very Merry Christmas. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year coming up, too. We are going to... We are here to uh, do our bowl game predictions for the top 15 ranked teams. Some games have already finished, and some yeah, that some, will be coming very soon. Yeah, but all of, all, of, all, of the, all of the top 15 games actually start tomorrow on Saturday. So we're going to be looking over those as our main thing of what we're doing. Uh, and then making fun of Miami. Because they deserve it. Because they deserve it. But anyways, we'll, we'll go ahead and start out. Starting on Saturday, December the, the 28th. We're going to go over the top fifteen, uh, the top fifteen bowl games, the 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 top fifteen matchups, the top fifteen ranked teams, if I can say it properly. In there, uh, the the first thing we got Saturday morning at noon, we have number seventeen Memphis. Why are we talking about number seventeen? Whenever we're going to talk about top fifteen, because they're because facing number ten Penn State. Yes, no, which actually that might be a decent game. Memphis is. Memphis only lost one game the whole year. But Memphis's head coach is going elsewhere to yeah, Florida State. Yeah, which that means Penn State. Uh, it's the Goodyear Cotton Bowl. Oh, so they're the Cotton Bowl participants. Yeah, they are the Cotton Bowl participants. Uh, Penn, it would be wise to pick Penn State on uh, that matchup. Yeah, Penn State's favored by seven. I would take that. I would go ahead and take that, yeah. Uh, Memphis is, might be in a little turmoil there. Uh, also at noon, we have number 15, Notre Dame. Taking on unranked Iowa State. Why did they put them against the unranked Iowa State? Because Notre Dame needed to win. <laughs> <laughs> I know Notre Dame is a historically good football program mm -hmm. with lots yeah. of historic relevance. Mm -hmm. But you could have at least given them a tougher opponent. Yeah, they're only I still I think they're only they're only favored by three and a half. Mm -hmm. It would be wise to pick the Fighting Irish in I would that game. I would probably take the Fighting Irish in that Go game. Go get so some yeah. shamrocky little Irishmen. And then we have uh, we have some good games. Oklahoma and LSU. At last, the college football playoff has arrived. The college football playoff has arrived. And which I think we think the committee got it right. Yeah, I mean, they actually got the top four right. I think LSU is number one. We've said the entire year that LSU is the best team out there. We said the entire year that... The championship that, games proved it. That Burrow should win the Heisman. And both of that happened. And both of that happened. And, then, and we did put some loving on Hurt, too. During the early part of the year, he was probably leading in the Heisman. But then Until they, Burrow they just completely Burrow just took, took it over. over. But, but, uh, but, uh, but Hurt did come in second. So... He came in second in the Heisman. So Shows was, you the relevance of cool. the quarterback position on the Heisman race. Yeah, Oklahoma and LSU is the second largest widespread widespread in the history of the playoffs, which is a long history, but still, though, LSU is favored by 13.5. And a half, 13 and a half. Mm, that's a lot of points. That is a lot of points. Uh, LSU's least, offense... Well, it's often to uh, let's just uh, see the health update on Clyde Edwards Hilaire. They're running yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, he is a big part of it. There's a good chance that he'll miss it uh, because but, of a hamstring or yeah injury. Yeah, he does have an injury there. Uh, honestly, I would probably still take LSU though. Well, Joe Burt, the passing attack is lethal this minus, year. Minus twelve and a half. I mean, he went into Georgia and beat him at twenty four. We're doing it so. And that was in Georgia. It wasn't the home game of Georgia, but it was in Georgia. So he went there. Man, Georgia's and laid past off. failures in Hoping the up. SEC championship game are continuing to show itself. Yeah, it's almost Georgia-ish, isn't it? <laughs> it's getting spanked all the time. Uh, just that. I mean, just it was just close. It was really close. They almost got him. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm so I'm gonna I'm gonna take LSU minus twelve and I mean minus thirteen and a half. That is a lot of points, honestly, and that's scary. But uh, I just think Oklahoma's still out to prove something. So I mean I mean LSU's out to prove something. So I'm still gonna take that. And and, and then second, this is the tough one: Clemson, Ohio State. 
that's the probably the toughest matchup Ohio State's had all season. Yeah, and it's just, and it's definitely the toughest matchup Clemson's had all season because <laughs> because they play in the ACC, which awful this year, awful conference conference. Yeah, not in basketball, but football. Yeah, yeah, football. They the bad basketball. They're probably the best out there. Football, they suck. The ACC sucks this year, but Clemson is actually favored by two points. Who do you think comes alive in that one? It's going to be a close game. Mm-hmm. That's what I believe. Ohio State's got the better defense, maybe, but Clemson's defense is pretty darn good, too. I feel like Cle- Ohio at the, end, got the, the end of the day, mm-hmm. Clemson's offense is already championship experienced, and all of his wide receivers from the championship game are back for this. And, I mean, it's not, it's not like they've lost, I mean, one twenty six games in a row or anything. <laughs> What's the hell? I think it's I think it's up to twenty six, ain't it? Or twenty seven? I think it yeah. could reach thirty this time around. You never know. Uh, yeah, never know. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna actually take Clemson minus two in that one. So the Tigers will move on to their move on. We're gonna have to LSU their third or wait their second straight natty title game. We're gonna have the Tiger Bowl <laughs> for the, the national for the national championship. The Clemson Tigers versus the LSU Tigers. LSU Tigers. Let's see who has the best tiger. And do you know who the, sp- the main sponsor of the Bulls is going to be? Who? Frosted Flakes. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> a Tony the Tiger. <laughs> I have no clue who the main sponsor is going to be. That was just funny. Roar. All right, let's 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 jump on up to our next bowl game. This is on Monday. Now, this is our nice bowl stretch. They're, they're every day. Monday, December the 30th, we have number nine ranked Florida taking on number 24 Virginia. Man, uh, Florida got an easy matchup there, didn't they? I mean, Virginia was second place in the ACC, but that's, that's not saying that's much. That's not saying much, no. Because uh, second place, any, anybody could have been second place in the, in the ACC. Uh, Florida's favored by 14 and a half. Oh. Let's, uh, let's uh, just pick the Gators there and uh, leave it at that because Virginia is, doesn't it, have a shot. It is in Florida. It's the Capital One Orange Bowl. So, I just don't think Virginia has a chance. No, no, I, I don't. I don't think they do either. All right, we'll jump on up to our surprise team uh, that we thought was pretty good, but never really saw them. It was Tuesday, December the thirty first, number eleven, Utah, taking on Texas. Utah had a shot to get into the playoff, but they crapped the bed this year. Yeah, and this game is in Texas. It's the Alamo Bowl. But uh, Texas has not looked too – I mean, they were 7-5 this year. So. They I started think, off I well, think, but they kind of crash landed. Yeah, I think Utah's a better team. I think Utah wins that one. Utes. Better, so. Utah Utes. And the Utah Utes. And then Wednesday, January 1st, 2020. Time we, to bring in the new decade. The new decade with a bunch of good games. We have number 18, Minnesota. And, again, we're talking about them because they take on – Number 12, Auburn. Auburn coming off that epic Iron Bowl matchup. Mm-hmm. Minnesota, Auburn, it, they're in the Outback Bowl, which again is a Florida game. Uh, so I'm going to take Auburn. The Outback Bowl's always been a fun game to watch. It is a fun game to watch, yeah. I think they play it in the Tampa Bay Bucks stadium. If Auburn plays like they did against Alabama, they will win that game. Yeah. But if mm-hmm. they play like they did against, uh, per se, Florida... They'll lose it, yeah. I'm still going to go towards Auburn just because uh, Minnesota down to Florida is a just a longer trip. And Auburn's used to it and because Auburn's, they're in the SEC and they're closer yeah. to the area. Yeah. Well, uh, also on the first, we have Michigan, number 14 Michigan, taking on Alabama. Alabama's not in a title game, folks. This they're is a, not a, This is not a drill. They're not even in the playoffs <laughs> to get to a title game. If they want to go to the to the uh, to the title game this year, they'll have to buy tickets like the rest of us. <laughs> oh, that's 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 that felt good saying that. Uh, Alabama, Alabama's going to beat Michigan. I don't not not as much Michigan a always. Jim Harbaugh always has the special knack for wetting the bed in big games. Yes, so he'll probably stink this one up too. May 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 be more. Could than you that. think of a more of a bad mismatch for Jim Harbaugh than Nick Saban? No, not Nick Saban off of missing the playoffs. He's gonna get. He he might want to prove angry. that he should have been there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also that date, man. There's a four fantastic games on New Year's Day. We got number six Oregon taking on number eight Wisconsin. 
That's really going to be That's a good game, too. The Rose Bowl. Who's going to win? Justin Herbert in the Oregon offense or the Wisconsin defense that's led the NCAA in a lot of metrics this year? I don't know. That is just a fantastic matchup, really. That's the way you want a bowl game. This game could go either way, really. You're just picking one. The line is Wisconsin 3, uh, favored by 3. Uh, Wisconsin's probably got the better line, uh, but Oregon, Oregon's a good team. I don't know. Who do you th- what, do you, what do you think on that one? That's a toss-up because it, it toss depends up. on who shows up first and foremost. Yeah. If Wisconsin's defense shows up, the Badgers will go on Wisconsin. But if Oregon's offense is Justin Herbert, who is an NFL prospect? He, 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 he will be an NFL quarterback. He will be, yeah. If he can get Oregon rolling in his last collegiate game, then the Ducks will pull the truck out of... A victory. So, yeah, I don't hate both of those teams. Wisconsin's probably my favorite Big Ten team. And, and Oregon. Oregon's probably my favorite Pac-12 team. So, I don't I don't, I don't, don't hate either 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 one of them. But you know what? I'm probably going to go Oregon. You're going to go Oregon? Yeah, just because it's out in the Rose Bowl, out, out in California, maybe maybe a little bit. I don't know. But we'll go. I'll go Oregon on that one. Wisconsin's going to very easily win that one, though. It's very... Uh, and then the last game of the day, we have Georgia, number five Georgia, taking on number seven Baylor. Interesting matchup because Georgia, mm-hmm. first and foremost, their offense is non-existent. Mm-hmm. And this is the Sugar Bowl, by the way. So it'll be down in Nolens. And second, their defense is stout, but they're not world-beating great. No. I'll tell you, it's, it's like they lost their offensive coordinator or something that was doing so well last year. Lost him to this. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's right. He is the offensive quarter <laughs> of Tennessee now. <laughs> oh, that Baylor's probably got also got a bitter taste in their mouths after the Big 12 championship uh-huh. loss. Georgia's actually favored by six in this one. Minus I'm going to pick six. a closer game, honestly. Baylor, are you going to take Baylor plus six? You got six points to play with? That's probably not a bad pick there. Uh, Georgia does have a another habit of crapping the bed when it comes to the big game. <laughs> Because they're a Georgia team. Georgia, Georgia sports teams. Have now, any- now this is not a top uh, 15 game, but we are going to throw our little pick on it. Uh, Thursday, the best game of the day is Indiana at Tennessee. Well, I'm, it, I got to tell really you, at this Tennessee, team this year. The Gator Bowl. This, that team right there, that T right there, just turn it around. They turned it. The, 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 the T is for turnaround. Uh, yeah, started out one and four, and ended up seven and five, five, six and one. I don't wonder season. what the heck happened over in Knoxville. Yeah, <laughs> Tennessee's only Tennessee is favored. Tennessee's favored by one and a half. I will take that. Tennessee. You'll take the balls. Yeah, mainly again Indiana's Indiana's offensive coordinator left the team to go be a head coach, so uh, that may put a little turmoil in the mixture there too. So we will take Tennessee minus one and We're a half. We're proud of the balls for even turning this ship around. For doing what they did, yeah. And and that's it. That well, is that is Well, we got to mention one matchup. little stinker that oh, we yeah. mentioned. Oh yeah. Miami. Man, man, man. Dear Lord. How far has Miami failed? They have failed so far to lose to Louisiana Tech. They didn't just lose. They put up a goose egg. Zero. A L- goose egg. La Tech beat them 14 to nothing. To nothing. How can Miami go, go to a bowl game and score zero points? Especially to Louisiana Tech. <laughs> yeah, I mean Louisiana Tech. I mean, really, that's that's pretty bad, man. Oh my gosh! I mean, may I mention their quarterback, the starting quarterback for Miami's final stats? Do you want me to roll those out? Yeah, go ahead. Whatever. Nine of twenty. Nine. Uh, nine for less than a hundred yards. In less an than entire game. Yards. In an entire game. In nine. an int. In an int. Interception. Yeah, that's yeah, that's Miami now. That's pretty bad. They fired their offensive coordinator after the game, right? What a disaster! Um, that's a disaster. Well, so Miami's in complete Disarray. rebuild mode now. Yeah, how could how did they how, how did they make it to a bowl game? That tells you how bad the ACC is, dude. <laughs> when La Tech beats one of your one of your bowl teams fourteen to nothing, that's how bad the ACC <laughs> was this year. That is horrible. That's our laugh so far of this bowl season. That is that is laugh so far of the bowl season. We we will probably pop back in for a quick little video to recap these bowls and then talk about the national championship game when it comes around. So it's not our last college video, but it's our next 
to last college. Unfortunately. Year. We enjoy doing these all well, year. Yeah, we we are doing. But anyways, be sure and hit the like button for us. Hit the subscribe button. We're going to throw out some more videos for you, too. Send us a thought down below what you think of this bowl season. Yeah. Who do you think is going to win it all? I don't know. Hit the hit the subscribe, hit the the, hit the, groovy, baby the, the groovy baby button over here somewhere too. Somewhere on, on my back. face. Yeah, we are out. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. See you next week.